Welcome back to Electricity Frenzy, the channel where we dive deep into all things electrical. As an experienced electrical engineer I'm happy to share with you my experience on common issue, why an electric motor won't start. If you find that your motor is not starting, there are several potential culprits to consider. The issue could be related to the power supply, such as undervoltage or power fluctuations that are preventing the motor from starting. Another possibility is a malfunctioning protection device, such as a circuit breaker, CB, or a blown fuse, which could be interrupting the power flow to the motor. Additionally, it's crucial to inspect the power cable that connects the motor to the power source, as any damage or faulty connections can impede the motor's operation. Another factor to consider is the motor load. If the load on the motor is too high, it may struggle to start. Lastly, internal issues within the motor itself, such as damaged windings or a faulty starting capacitor, could also be preventing it from starting. By considering these various factors and systematically checking each one, you can pinpoint the cause and take appropriate measures to get your motor up and running again. Let's begin by checking the on switch, circuit breaker, CB, overload protection device, and power supply. Make sure the on switch is turned on, and inspect the CB and overload protection device to ensure they haven't tripped or malfunctioned. Additionally, measure the voltage using a multimeter to confirm that the power supply is within the motor's operating range. If all these devices and the power supply voltage are okay, the next step is to check the voltage directly on the motor terminals. Use the multimeter to measure the voltage. If the voltage is zero on the motor terminals, despite the protection devices being okay, it's time to examine the power cable from the source to the motor. Look for any cuts or damaged sections along the cable, as this could be the cause of the problem. Please take a moment to like this video and show your support for the channel. Your likes help us grow and continue creating helpful content. Thanks for that. If the motor is humming, it may be a signal of overloading, undervoltage, or a damaged starting capacitor in the case of a single phase motor. For a three phase motor, humming can indicate overloading, undervoltage, or suffering from a phase loss. If the voltage on the motor terminals is okay and there are no issues with the power cable, the next step is to consult a licensed electrician for an in depth inspection of the motor windings. This is not a DIY task, as the motor may be damaged or burnt out, requiring professional expertise. That's it for today's episode of Electricity Frenzy. We've explored the steps to troubleshoot a motor that won't start. Remember, if you encounter difficulties or are unsure about any of the procedures, it's always best to consult a qualified electrician for assistance. If you have any questions or suggestions for future episodes, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with all our electrifying content. Until next time, keep that electrical frenzy going.